Hi, so I'm just making a video because I kind of want to document where I'm at right now, which is not a good place. So yesterday, Saturday the 9th of December, I was at work. And I bent down, squatted down, and I've been very careful with my squats and everything recently, but I squatted down and I felt a twinge or tweak in my back and <sighs> Lord have mercy, it is bad again. And I don't know if it's my same herniation that I deal with already or if it's just I pull the muscle because I was reading that you need to do like lots of stretches and yoga and stuff to keep all of your muscles from tightening up from little activities because you should not your back should not be doing that from just squatting to pick something up like I, I had to leave work and I had to get my shift for the next day which is today covered because I couldn't do it I can barely walk it's in so much pain and I'm documenting this because I'm really depressed about it. I've been in recovery for a year now about from my first herniation. And it being in chronic pain is just difficult. And it makes you want to just give up cuz I've been obviously I'm not doing enough and that's a hard pill to swallow right now. I I need to take this more seriously. Like I've been doing the treadmill every day and I've been off and on doing stretches and exercises, but obviously it's not enough. It's not enough dieting. So this is kind of just documenting that I need to kick myself in the butt and do better. I need to go on a stricter anti-inflammatory diet and I need to start rapidly losing weight if I'm going to get out of this pain. This is just ridiculous and I'm frustrated and it's all my fault, I feel like. I'm upset because I thought I was doing what I was supposed to be doing to recover. And I have been losing a little bit of weight, but like barely any, and I need to not complain about it. I need to just do it. Like, it's the holiday season, and I know my last weight loss update video, I was kind of like joking around about how it's the holiday season, even though I still planned on losing weight this month, but... I'm just mad at myself, I guess, because in my body, because I don't know exactly how I can even prevent this from happening. You're fine, and then you bend over to pick something up, and you're debilitated. So frustrating, and I know that other people understand what that's like. It's just, I came home yesterday and was crying and could barely get up off the floor and so much pain and I'm in a lot of pain today too but I'm trying to push through I got made myself get up out of the bed and shower at least and I planned on trying to walk on the treadmill just a little bit to get things loosened up today But, I don't know guys, I'm just 
trying to stay hopeful, but like this is real life. And I don't, I know where to go from here, but I don't. Because in the past when I've done lots of yoga and stretches and exercises, even those that were supervised by a physical therapist, I was in so much pain from that that I, I don't understand the balance between stretching enough to where your body is flexible and your muscles aren't weak because I obviously need core muscles to protect my back because it's just... It shouldn't be acting like this. Um, but how do I... How do I stretch and exercise in a way that is not going to cause severe pain, but yet strengthens those muscles enough to where I don't tweak it and I'm not in agony? Like, there's got to be a balance, and I'm hoping that this next year is going to be a lot better for me. Because last year started off cruddy. Like, last year started off with the herniated disc and the radiating pain down the leg and the sciatica and the MRI and the physical therapy. And then it just went away when I started walking every day and doing some exercises, doing the McGill Big Three. And yesterday, when I was getting ready for work, I was so thankful. It's the silliest thing. Like, I was being grateful that I could put my socks on without pain. Just yesterday morning. And then that day is the day that my back decided to tweak and put me in agony. Like, make it make sense. So I'm not giving up this is kind of just me documenting the whole journey and hopefully i'll never be in this position again like i'm tired of being in chronic pain i'm tired of being 28 years old and unable to walk <laughs> but I'm just hoping this inspires me to take even better care of myself because I don't want to live a life that if this is my future I don't want it I guess is what I'm saying it's so frustrating I'm trying to stay positive doing my little healing affirmations and healing meditations and all that stuff but bodies are frustrating uh, hopefully this is the last time in a while that I tweak my back cause it's been almost a year like why does it have to happen like once a year it's ridiculous and I'm over it and I'm at the point where I'm willing to do anything to not be in pain. And if that means going on a really strict anti-inflammatory diet, doing my stretches even if they hurt, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. So moving forward, I'm just inspired to take even better care of myself and hopefully get this weight off this weight has got to go like pronto to release stress on my back like I already knew that and every time I got hurt I would always think that but for some reason no matter how hard I try I can't get this weight off and it's frustrating the heck out of me So I'm going to try even harder. And I'm done 
with being this way in 2024. I guess that's really all I have to say. Sorry, that was so dramatic.